So I'm putting my daughter to bed. She's six years old and it's the eve of her seventh birthday and she's just crying, just sobbing. What's going on? Like this is supposed to be a time of excitement. Like tomorrow's your birthday, you're turning seven. We're gonna have a party and cake and presents. Why are you so upset? And she looks at me and she says, Daddy, tomorrow I'm not gonna be six anymore and I'm not ready to grow up. Even at six years old, she knew that moving on to something new meant leaving something behind. Those who had followed Jesus the closest, the, the 11, now that Judas had betrayed Jesus, they stood by as, as Jesus, the one that they'd spent the last three years walking with and talking with and laughing with and learning from, the one that they'd asked questions of and who'd answered their questions with even better questions, the one who'd befriended tax collectors and prostitutes, the religious elites as well as the ethnically marginalized, the one who'd used his power to heal and protect and provide now appeared to be powerless as he hung from a Roman cross the sandy soil beneath them just getting saturated with his blood. The one who told stories that turned the world upside down and turned God into a doting father who loved his children and celebrated every time they returned back to him, now hung silent. And as his life ebbed away, he spoke three words. It is finished. Jesus had come to show us exactly what God is like. Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father, that I and the Father are one. That if you've lost track of what God's like, or if you forgot what God's like, or you never knew what God is like, Jesus came to show us exactly what God is like, that God is love. And not just a, a distant, sentimental love, like I'm for you, but I don't expect me to do anything for you, but a love that walks into our messy reality. Not with power or force or might, but he came into the world humble and gentle. He only used his power to heal and provide and protect and restore. Jesus came to show us what God is like, that we would like him and want to become like him that we would trust him and live in alignment with his way of love, that we would love one another as Jesus loved us, that we would live asking the question, how can I take the best of who I am to move you towards the best of who you can become? And now it was finished. The fullness of God fully revealed all of who God is and who he's inviting us to become, not to be known by what we know, but how we love one another another. Jesus had crossed a line from the old system of temple and sacrifice and rules and rituals into something brand new that the old was going to be left behind. It was finished that Jesus had crossed the line and was starting a movement where devotion to God wouldn't be demonstrated through sacrifice, through appeasement, through religion or rituals or rules, but where devotion to God was going to be demonstrated by how we love one another.